of YouTube, I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique, a game found critique, where I take a look at a different game found project every weekday at around 1.40 Eastern Standard Time, give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers, celebrate my 9-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Also consider supporting the Patreon, because I'm a stay-at-home dad right now. But right now, I'm very excited and very intrigued to be checking out Wild Ascent Levon Rising, which has already raised $823,000 on GameFound.com. It has three days left to go, so last 72 hours, oh my gosh, freak out everybody. But then I was doing some research on it. And it doesn't seem like the original Wild Ascent was terribly popular. So uh, it just came out this year, I guess. It's ranked 11,000th. So it doesn't look like there's a huge clamoring for people to get the new one. I I'm not I'm not exactly sure. The original one raised $332,000 on Kickstarter. This one's already up to $800,000. But that's to be expected when you have uh, the juicy reprint, which I'm assuming this is a reprint along with the expansion. And I always feel like Kickstarter companies uh, should do that. But Wild Ascent is a 1-4 to player RPG board game with solo, cooperative, and PvP game modes, beautiful miniatures, and thrilling gameplay. The Levon Rising expansion adds more heroes and creatures and a compelling story-based campaign with multiple endings that you won't need to dot dot dot. Oh my gosh. So they've, they've left me wanting more. They've told me a whole bunch of information about the game, and I always complain about how you need to convey as much information as you possibly can on your main image. And I do like the fact that GameFound gives people more room right here. Why why does Kickstarter limit it to so few characters? Just just make the text a little bit smaller. So I like this. One to four player RPG board game, solo cooperative, PvP game modes. That's the original, and now I'm getting uh, more stuff. Heroes, creatures, in a compelling story-based campaign. Okay. So let's see, and I will say, I'm going to be a little bit of a noob here. Game found. I've only navigated through this the whole time, but wow, I really like how they do their stretch goals. That is really hot. So f stretch goals, front and center, that's a game found thing. That's not necessary. So I'm not patting Lazy Squire games on the back for that. Uh, but still, game found. I like that, and it's got a little lock. Okay. As always, when I go to this video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Hopefully, you can convince me right now. Let's go. First thing, I mentioned this last time I did a Game Found Critique. Kickstarter, get off your ass. Make it so they can just easily put in a YouTube video. This is so nice. It makes, And I imagine if I actually did an interview with someone who's run a Game Found, and I will when I go to Gen Con and Origins, uh, this, is, this is just so much more convenient to be able to just plop in a YouTube video right here. Levon Rising is a solo cooperative... So first thing, we got our minis porn. Look, there, it's out of the way. Hooray. Cool. It's going to be a gigantic miniatures game. The box is going to be stupidly large. It's going to have like eight different boxes that are going to clog up your shelf. It's another one in that ilk, but it's owning it, and I know that right from the jump, which I do like. Expansion that adds compelling, decision-based narrative to the world of Wild Ascent. Enslaved, you must fight to survive against the most dangerous foes the Sylvestrum and the Wilds have to offer. Your I want to go back to that. I want to really want to read that card for a second to see how different this mini is. Unstoppable! Any of may not apply status effects to the Infernal Dragon. The Infernal Dragon is immune to knockback. Uh, so other than that, this is just a totally normal card. <laughs> no fancy bells or whistles here. 40 health. Two minor things. Okay. Okay. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting, but hey. Hey, it's early. Oh, and this is this is why they want us to zoom in. This is why everybody else is stopping to look. Oh my gosh, I can see the veins on the. the, the bleh, bleh, bleh. I don't care. Offer. Your actions will echo across your adventure, Whoa. shaping not just the course of the story, but the fate of the world around you. Yeah, that gets me. Excited. Learned from every battle, unlocking new and more powerful abilities. Spend okay. every last coin on weapons and armor, just to. Oof. Ooh, I love, I love that page. I just want to go back. That is a really, that is a, f I, I want to play a game where that, that, that is nice. That is nice. It shows every single card. I don't have to scroll through the cards, you know? Because we've all played those games where it's like, oh yeah, you can buy one of these and there's like 27 cards and you're like, uh, okay, give me a minute. Um, uh, ooh, this one's cool. Oh, it's cost too much. All right. It's like, this is a clean system. I like what they got there. Just to keep yourself alive. Forge necessary alliances, and then break them if you must. But be prepared to suffer the consequences of your unsavory deeds. 
alone or with friends, Levon Rising offers a host of new story-based scenarios. <laughs> Whether you are looking for a simple night of fun or an immersive multi-session campaign, Levon Rising also adds new content for Wild Ascent's core gaming modes. New seekers are eager to venture deep into God, the wilds, many. bringing their unique oh, skills to the hunt mode. Strengthen your encampment with eccentric workers and exciting crafting recipes. Now, if you have played the original, please let me know in the comments down below if the original minis were that nice. Because I would love to know more about the behind the scenes of how Awakened Realms is luring people over to GameFound. And I'm wondering if they're like, hey, we can help you with your minis because your minis kind of suck. Like, no, And I'm not saying that their minis do suck, but I'm just saying Awakened Realms, very good at making minis. Uh, so I'm wondering if that's potentially how they're luring people over. I'd be really intrigued to know a little bit more about the behind the scenes on that. Recipes. Venture deeper into the wilds than ever before, facing diabolical new creatures lurking in the deadliest of locales. In the player versus player arena mode, the new ascents and mercenaries stand ready to spill blood in the arenas of the Sylvestrum. Cool. Supplement their strength with powerful new equipment while commanding ever more dangerous creatures. But be forewarned, Veraclea has grown tired of the typical scope of arena matches. At her sadistic will, the largest of monsters may now join the fray. Oh, cool. Third party. Whether you play by yourself or with your friends or against them, Wild Ascent has something for everyone. You can enjoy massive replayability across all its game modes, changing your actions, strategies, or playable characters to breathe new life into the game every time you bring it to the table. Join us now on GameFound, whether you want just the core pledge or all Levon Rising has to offer. Meh. Overall, not impressed by the video. I mean, and here's the bottom line. There are so many games of this elk it's just hey pvp you know it's like there's monsters it's cool big minis you gotta fight the big minis but you can work together you can work solo you can just fight each other in the arena nothing here you're showing me has been like oh my gosh that's a revelation it's just eh, it's more of the same and i don't feel like that video really was good enough to get like yeah so they can't do i want it not really and I'm, and I'm very I'm very curious here to know what other people think. Perhaps it's just because I'm jaded, or perhaps it's just because there's too many, way too many minis games on Kickstarter and GameFounder, uh, but, but it's just, eh, the video didn't do it for me. I mean, I understand it spotlighted a lot that it needed to spotlight, the immense replayability, all the different game modes, ooh, cool-looking minis, we zoom in, gigantic minis, blah, 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 but at the end of the day, it really boils down to, are you going to want four massive box taking up an entire shelf space and are you going to play it you know that's when it really boils down to me and you really have got to just hit a home run with the video i think uh, to convince people at this point i don't think they did uh love watching your videos during breaks thanks well i'm glad you enjoy them uh so one to four players 75 minutes ages 14 plus and look at this game found oh my gosh i might not say much nice about the, the wild ascent but game found i just love how they handle their business this is the one thing and i hammer so many companies all the time player play count Time length, age. Age is not as important, but, but those two. And sometimes I see entire Kickstarter campaigns where they don't mention those, or they just bury somewhere. And I like the fact that GameFound is like, oh, you morons need to stop doing that. You know what? We'll just take it out of your hands and we'll do it yourself because you're acting like children. So good. Good on you, GameFound. Genre, fantasy, survival, RPG, adventure, solo. So we got free for all campaign pledges. Oh, yippee skippy. You get it? So this is the fear of missing out. Get yourself this cool looking elk, which does look cool. Like, I'm not diminishing the minis at all. These look spectacular. I'd like to know the size of this mini. That'd be nice. But whatever. The Wildswood Elk will be given free to all backers who have a pledge with the campaign. When the campaign edge, pledge now and get this magnificent creature. So it comes with not only the mini, it comes with the card, and it comes with other stuff. So that's a that's a decent size value. Holy Jesus. I also I also will say I do like the fact that this is a little bit more front and center. On Kickstarter, you kinda have to scroll around. Yeah, the game yeah, the sidebar links. This is great. And this is yeah, I love I do love the organization. I agree on that. I love GameFound. I don't know about this game, but man, I love GameFound. Uh Wild Ascent Levon Rising is a reprint campaign for Wild Ascent, which once again is kind of interesting to me. Um is this game highly 
like sought after? Is this game like I've never heard anyone mention anything about this game? It's ranked eleven thousand something. It's ranked like seven point three, which means yeah, it's good, but it's nothing to scout, shout about. Uh, so so I'm very curious. Original game was Unicast Resin from Archon Studios. The new one is PVC, which made the new minis bigger than the original. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to make some people mad having minis different size. I don't know. All right. While the set Levon Rise is a reprint campaign, Levon Rising did what no other game has ever made me do. I actually read branching story paths just to find out what happened. The game layers an amazing and branching story on top of a game system I already love with additional mechanical tweaks that further enhance the replayability. Five plus out of five. Come on, Alex. Come on. I, I really do like Alex. I, I've, I've, sat, I've chat with him many times uh, on the Alaboom podcast, but this is like this quote. So what he's saying right here is this is better than the best game ever. Five plus out of five. Let, let me know. I am just so sick and damn tired of seeing all these quotes that I've seen so many of them the last few weeks. Ten out of ten. Five out of five. And now five plus out of five. Come the frick on. I almost said dropped an F-bomb there. That's how frustrated I am. I hate this quote. I hate everything about this quote. Just because of 5 plus out of 5. You're telling me this is the best game you have ever played in the history of games. It's so good that it's not just a 5 out of 5. It transcends to something higher? No. No. Now, I understand. I don't put this on Alex. Because you know what? When you get talking and when you're doing a video and you, and you start talking, you start throwing out superlatives, sometimes you say things... So it could have been taken out of context. But Jesus, 5 plus out of 5, really? It's the best game ever. Why don't we just put it there? 5 plus out of 5, that's what that means, right? It is not just a 5 out of 5, it's better than a 5 out of 5. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, so, but, but okay. I'm, I'm going to keep scrolling. Okay, we got the nice setup shot, two boxes, cool. This looks fun, looks enjoyable. The relationships we're cultivated over the past few years have allowed us to do things we couldn't do during the first campaign, like offer... Full printed games in multiple languages. What's more, since the core game and Shadow of the Silvstream expansion are already designed, we'll be sending them out earlier than Levon Rising, so you don't need to wait as long to battle in the arena or hunt in the wild. Since the core game and Shadow of the Silvstream expansion... Okay, so they're offering you the stuff from the Kickstarter in addition to the new stuff, which is cool. It makes sense. It's all going through GameFound. This is... It, it, it's clean whatevs okay why join the hunt now your feedback will impact the game's design make the wilds more fun and more dangerous than ever unlock stretch goals they're like jump scares but not scary or jumping get more than you would at retail the only way to get some free stuff like those stretch goals so now we go down here to the reward section look at that front and center i don't know if that's a game found thing or if that's a them thing but i like it uh 369 dollars and i and i am not even against this they're putting exactly what they want you to back front and center you know, here's the whale. This is what we want. This is what most of you want. 1,600 people said, sure, $369. I have room for seven more boxes. Jesus Christ, that takes up a whole shelf. For most people, it's going to take up a shelf and a half. Just, 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 just so much. When does it stop? When does this Kickstarter game founder... I'm going to call it game founder forever. It's going to irk some people. It's just, when does the madness end? Like, is this, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't get these style games. And maybe it's because I'm a reviewer, and so I, you know, the turnaround, the turnaround. I gotta go from game to game to game to game to game. But, but, are people really getting, I, I don't know, are, are people getting the most out of these? Like, just think of all the other games you could buy for $369 right now. Go to CoolStuffInc.com, and I guarantee you, there's five games in your brain right now. You're like, yeah, I'd really like to get that game. I played it somewhere else, or I'd really like to try that game. You could buy every single one of those games and you would have five, and you'd have them this week, and, and and you would save a bunch of money. And it's just I don't I don't I don't I don't get it I don't get it. <laughs> okay, so this is the wildest set core game and all daily unlocks and unlock stretch goals. Shipping is not included and will be calculated and paid for when the pledge manager is launched. So we're not gonna hear about shipping. Oh well, it's right here I can click on it later. Okay, I like that. Okay, so this is just everything new in the Kickstarter. This is the second hand pledge. So this is everything. From the first Kickstarter, this is clean and clear. Do not pledge if you do not have the shadow. Uh, okay. Shadow of the Silver Street. Okay. Wait. I'm going to go through these. They offer the original game at a discount. Since the miniatures weren't to scale, they showed them in some updates. Oh, thank you very much, the bear. Uh, so this is the whale. This is everything. This is the Wild Ascent core game and all on daily. So this is if you have the original whale from the Kickstarter, I think. 
And this, secondhand backers pledge, do not pledge if you don't have the Shadow of the Civ Stream expansion, includes the dangers of the Wilds box, Levon Rising, and all unlock stretch goals. So what the hell is this? Is this everything? So this doesn't come with the blue box. I, I don't know. <laughs> Shadow of the Silvstream Pledge includes the Wild Ascent Core Box, Shadow of the Silvstream, and all the. So, ooh, this is. So, it's just. This is so clunky. S do you want seven boxes? Do you want two boxes? Do you want five boxes? Do you want four boxes? Or do you want five boxes? But they're five different boxes! Wait, are they different boxes? So, let's see. Green, yellow, white, purplish, red. Green, yellow, white, purplish, red. What the hell am I missing here? Uh, Wild Ascent. So, this is the second hand backers pledge so second hand to me means that it's a hand-me-down someone gave me the game so what is the difference between this and this i am very intrigued uh eighty dollars that's the difference so do not pledge if you don't have the shadow of you know what 27 people took this so it's stupid pledge level just get it the hell out of here because it's more confusing and this one's even stupider and more confusing because only seven people took it and you can always look at pledge levels and see exactly how useless they are by how many people take it generally uh, so, good, good, crap, arguable, crap. Just god-awful. And I, I, like, what the hell's the difference between this? What makes me want $80? Shadow of the Silvstream and New Pledge items. New Pledge item. Oh, so it's Shadow of the Silvstream. What is Shadow of the Silvstream? <sighs> they added the secondhand pledge because complained about not wanting to rebuy the base game. Thank you. A, a different bear. I have the original bear in chat, and then I have Yogi Bear, so I gotta make sure I get them to, <laughs> separated. Okay, so this was something that people requested, and this is why you don't listen to the whiny vocal minority, which is seven people. Seven people made you put this crap here, and it's just clogging and confusing and making me curse at you. Show your support. Uh, help the project reach its goal. This is just a tip. Okay. Can we get to the story now? All right, so stretch goals. And I do like the fact they're putting the stretch goals beforehand. And wow, 22 of 24 unlocked? You can even see? So there were three pledges before they added that stuff. So they actually have added two. Okay. Interesting. I'm wondering if this one... And I don't... I, you know what? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I don't even care. <laughs> we're going to focus on everything else. Lake Thrasher. So this is cool. Oh, and these are daily unlocks. Okay. Awesome. Zoom, cool. Getting a bunch of minis. Whatevs. New equipment cards. New path. Can I click on these? Oh. Oh, this is nice. The, oh, man, game found. I really love how they handle their business. Oh, that's a banger. That's nice. We'll hire game trays to control the chaos into the wild ascent boxes. This goal was unlocked. Um, so we're getting one tray? Or are we getting a bunch of trays? I don't know. Where's about the game? Where's a gameplay video? Where, I'm sure that's going to be down here. Uh, so this is this is the add-ons. Art. So I want I want to make a something very clear right here. And I have had people hammer me in the comments all the time about this. Say, oh Bauer, if you just if we listen to you and put everything that you say needs to be higher, then we just have a whole jumbled crappy mess. And that, my friends, is what this is. This feels like a whole jumbled crappy mess to me. <laughs> um and i don't think you should have uh, yeah i don't know i gotta i gotta rethink i, I don't know if it's just the add-ons like do we need the add-ons up higher so this is the war rider art lore book miss terror so these are individual minis why do i need this miss terror what is this miss terror why would i want this? Is, this is this something i already have is this something i could get in one of those seven boxes or is this an eighth box that i in fact need to purchase what is waterways of the wild is that one of those that's the blue box right that's the blue box no, that's not the blue box. This is the blue box. Is that a different blue box? What the hell is going on here? That's a different blue box. Wait, is it a different blue box? Scrolling. No, that's a different blue box. So that's just a whole other box. That's just an eighth box. Oh, you want the eighth special box? We're not going to give you that. Is that in the whale? Is it in the whale? No, it's not. Is that... What the... F what the hell is going on? What is this? Well, luckily, because it's GameFound, and GameFound is awesome, I can click on this. Waterways of the Wild. Yes, this is, in fact, a different box, which adds 28 new miniatures, including the massive, extra-large, slithering design. Oh, wow, cool. Wait, no, this is the Wild Ascent. Didn't we, weren't we talking about Wild Ascent? We, what the hell is going on? Is this an alternate box cover? Is that what it is? Because this is, in fact, a different box. I'm going to zoom in on this. This is, so this is, no, that's Wild Ascent. That's, so this is, so it's, a, it's an alternate box, right? 
right? One of the bears, please bail me out here. I'm so f out of my freaking element. And I don't think this is on GameFound. That's a different box. Am I blind? God, and I have to keep scrolling. Yes, that is it. So this box has people on it. This box, Ryder was given for free if you followed it. Miss Ryder, oh, was the 72-hour early bird and Waterway is an expansion they added later. But you're right, it's a mess. Okay, thank you, the bear. So, so I'm not crazy. This is, what the, what? Okay. Oh, and hey, here's the other blue box. So these are the same? No, this is Waterways of the Wild. Okay, so pledge content summary. Two boxes, asterisk, uh, 49 miniatures, 38 punch board cards, 360 cards, all applicable stretch goal, plus the save game app. That's, that's kind of cool. And then this is pledge content summary. So this is, this is if you get this pledge level. Oh, are you really going to make me scroll over and over again? I'm done scrolling through the add-ons. And uh, I, I don't like the add-ons there. Okay, so this is if you j if you just want the stuff that's here, I do believe, and this is if you want the four boxes, which is <laughs> this is seven boxes. This is the whale, and I don't even know what the hell's going on. And this is this is another box. This is a hundred, so it's regularly a hundred fifty dollars box, but it's only hundred twenty. Wow, look at us, we're saving so much money here. Uh, secret, and that was sarcasm, by the way. Uh, I'm just so frustrated. Cool. Look at all this stuff. Neato. This definitely looks like a 5 plus out of 5 to me. I mean, yeah, I get it. You got gorgeous minis. You got gorgeous artwork. You got... Cool. I just... Just just take me to... Take me away. Take me... I get it. There's minis. I see them. They're just shiny. This is the long, sexy, scrolling box shot that I love. And I normally just always praise companies so much for this long, sexy, scrolling box shot where i'm just enjoying going through this but now i don't even know what the, i don't even know what the hell i'm looking at i don't even know which pledge i need to back maybe that's their plan maybe they're going to try to confuse you so much that you're like do i need the four boxes do i need five boxes do i need two boxes? do i need the extra box in the add-on ah screw it i'm just gonna get the seven i'm just gonna send 369 dollars because that's what kickstarter has preconditioned me to spend uh oh that mini is hot okay cool how far do we have to keep scrolling <laughs> i get it i get it you give me seven boxes or eight boxes or however hell many boxes you give me there's gonna be a lot of stuff in them um there's also gonna be a lot of dead air tons and tons and tons of wasted space because this mini that mini is gonna take up so much of that box space it's just obnoxious okay so now we're on to Wild Ascent Levon Rising. Oh, wow, 149 dollars. Wow. So, well, I was gonna pay 200 dollars, but now I would pay 149. What? That looks cool. Does the tokens go in there? That's really neat. Not not 369 dollars neat, but dang it, that's cool. Many goblins died to bring this information. I get us a lot more coming to bite it. You should try and get humans to run your uh, game found instead of goblins, because apparently goblins just organization is not their forte. And then here, we, like, oh, we keep scrolling, and like doesn't even tell us what it is. It's just like, hey, here's a bunch of freaking minis. <laughs> like, is this is that what this whole image is? Oh, this is the wild creatures expansion. Generally. Uh, you should tell people, I at least I personally believe, at the top, instead of having a picture of a goblin fishing. But that's just me. I, this is so ugly. I hate this Kickstarter page. I hate this Game Found page. I should take that back. Game boards, various tokens. Are we still scrolling through the stuff that's in the seven boxes, or the first box, or who the hell knows? I just want it to be over. I want gameplay videos, or, nor or shipping. Gameplay overview. Oh, cool. Uh, gameplay overview. The hut! For three decades, blah, 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 text, more text, cool, Creatures of the Wild. Where's a video? Just show me a video. The arena, Heroes of Legends, a sensor born with the rare gift to... So I think what this is now they're talking maybe about the different game modes? I don't, I don't know, it's so much text. I was complaining so long ago, a story-driven campaign. Oh, here's what people want. This, yes, this is the thing that I think is going to intrigue most people, that choose-your-own-adventure aspect, especially solo gamers, and especially with Alex saying that that was his favorite part of the game was the choose-your-own-adventure. It was so good that he wanted to go and read all the other alternate branching things, which is great. I, I've done that on games. I've done that on uh, another game. I don't remember. It's from uh, Greenbrier Games. Uh, but yeah, that's great. Uh, and now we're back to... So you tell me about stories, we're focusing more on minis. And, and I'll be brutally honest with you. Just how much you've focused on minis completely turns me off. Just 110%. Like, have your mini porn section focused. Like, here you go. So all the people can look at the minis and, oh, look, it's cool. Look at the artwork, the minis. But it's just you keep going. Here's what I want to see. I want to see this book. I want to see what the book looks like. This looks cool. 
Click to read the demo campaign book. That's awesome. Too bad it took me 26 minutes to get here and I had to scroll through a bunch of crap that I didn't understand, but that's actually really solid. I like that. Let's see. All right. Might come back to that. Wild set videos. Levon Rising did what another game has ever made to do. I actually, oh, cool. I, you know what? I, I was actually just saying this with a friend of mine last week. I love when I scroll through a Kickstarter page and you reuse the same quote more than once. I think everybody just loves that. Let me know in the comments below. Do you love it when they reuse quotes? No, why the hell are you reusing quotes? Is there only one person saying nice things? Like, you don't have any other quotes? Like, why would you use the same quote? No, I know it's a, it's a ridiculous, and it's a ridiculous, five plus out of five. God, it pisses me off. It just pisses me off Ugh! because i'm gonna get on my soapbox right now when you make a claim like that if it doesn't live up to expectations just every other quote you see you just like five plus out of five it's it's the best game ever alex is saying this is the best game ever right right Alex from Board Game Co. and Jesse from Quackalope review LeBron Rising after playing the demo. It's hard to imagine them liking it more. Well, yeah, that would be a 6 out of 5, <laughs> which is just nuts. Uh, oh, a different quote. Usually in campaign games, when I kill my allies, it's by mistake. Not this time. Sorry, Rose. I can't wait to dive back in. Cool. Cool? <laughs> like, no? I, I hate everything about this. Is there just a gameplay video? I just want a gameplay video. Nope. Hi, I'm a nope. Nope, no gameplay. And once again, I'm not putting this on them. No, but the lowest HP. Just because they most likely didn't give these quotes to Awaken Realms or whoever the hell is running this. Wild Ascent is giving me an experience that is everything I love in a game. So pretty much what I'm getting here is, did you only give the box to the two people? It was worth the wait. Uh, why? No, he did not give it a 5 out of 5. He gave it a 5 plus out of 5, as you've, as you've mentioned twice. In this comments of the video, which is akin to writing on the back of Declaration of Independence in invisible ink. Oh, in the comments of the video. How is, how is that better than mentioning it in the video? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything that's going on here. I, I, I feel like I've just wandered into this. Wild Ascent, a detailed unboxing. What's up, Rockstars? Today, wow. I'm going to be unboxing What the hell is that thing? Descent. I'm excited to finally get a hold of this. Oh, that's the original. Okay, so that's actually just a box. Oh, cool. Minis, minis, whatever. I don't care. Uh, how to play the original game. And when did this game come out? It says 2021. Maybe the reason why the, why the rankings are, are not as popular is because... So this game just came out. Wow. Now that... That really scares me. And I am immediately... I have the A, B, C, D, F rating scale now. Which, Jesus, it's such a hard rating scale. <laughs> um, I am leaning... I'm uh, All my reviewer senses are tingling so hard right now. Like, because... I would feel that if people are just now starting to get this game, you got the how to play video up, you would want to wait just a little bit longer for all the buzz from all the massive buds about how amazing this game is, and then you would want to launch the Kickstarter. Whereas now, if this video just came up a week ago, I'm going to imagine that most of the people haven't even played the damn game. You know, let's be quite frank, when you back one of these huge Kickstarters, like, how long does it take you typically to play the game and that's actually i need to put that in a poll question i think it's a good poll question when you back the whale of a kickstarter generally how long does it take you to get to the table interesting uh oh full gameplay excellent of the original game great we're not here to buy the original game while the set has a fix of tension and layers of complexity i look for in a solo co-op campaign game this is worth the money this was worth the wait now that's a great quote has a mix of tension and layers of complexity i look for in a solo and co-op okay Four to five months. So it's been out four to five months. Okay, so seven is about its ranking. It's a good game. And they're saying that with this expansion, it's becoming a great game. Or it, it, they're saying it's the best game ever, but a great game. Oh, oh, Yogi Bear is answering four to five months. Okay, so this game has not been out four to five months. But that's what I... Oh, okay. This this whole Kickstarter. So this is a Man vs. Meeple review. Is this of the actual game or is this of hey, the Barbie prototype? Games, but guess what? That was back in... Right here I have uh, the... Okay. I'm sorry, Jealous of Jerry's... Uh, he's talking about a shirt. First look. Wild Ascent. Oh, Wild Ascent is the expansion. So this is... Okay, so this is of the... So why... 
Why why don't you use one of these quotes that up there? Why do we see why do we see Alex's twice? On table board games uh, overview unboxing, cool. We played Wild Set. It's like chess and D and D had a baby. Um, okay, that kind of turns me off. Uh, uh, how to play full rules the hunt mode. So Wild Ascent is oh so this is the, for the base game. This is for the base game. <sighs> this is so frustrating. <laughs> Wild Set is great. The type design is rare for survival settlement games. It avoids... Oh, it's a settlement game? Well, that's exciting. I like this I like this quote better than all the rest of them. It avoids the typical pitfalls of games like it, which have a bloat and additional layers of complexity that add little value. It hits the sweet spot exactly where the fun is found. So what he's saying is, the game Wild Ascent is great. I don't... I feel like too many times they add too much extra crap on the side... And so now this game found is for all the extra crap on the side. <laughs> I'm going to be savage just the rest of the way down. Just a heads up. This this Kickstarter just rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, Wild Hunt. Check out Rolling Hunt's setup video, which is exactly where it's about to go. So it's just a setup. Why? Who? The Phoenix. And it- Why are you spotlighting a setup video? Uh, rules overview. Like, I feel like at this point, it's just video bloat. Like, you're just throwing so much crap at us here. Hey, look! Here's the... Because this is Wild Ascent. Oh, that's the expansion. Wait, is Wild... No, so Wild Ascent is the original game. Levon Rising is the expansion. So this is just... Like, why do I need... Why do I need a, a setup video for the original game? Wild Ascent is great. The tight design is rare for... Uh, okay, uh, the hunt. There's more videos. Just it, it, It's almost like it with the minis. Lazy Squire Game apparently believes that the key... To running a great Kickstarter is just bombarding you with so much crap that surely it's just, it's just like when you do. I don't even know. Most of the reviews and playthroughs are from the original game. Quackalook and Board Game have a playthrough of the new content, so that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is a playthrough demo. What? What? Hey, guy. Like, did they just literally copy and paste every single video from YouTube here? Like, how far does this go? Brian from Game Brigade gave the original an 8.1 that says with the fixes it could be an 8.9 or maybe a 9. Level up requirements accepted, sir. Okay. Uh, Chris of Leech. So this is... Okay, so now they're showing me the reviews. Cool. Oh, I uh, use it for a hat. Oh, mighty king of Cardbreak Entertainment, what has happened to thy crown? So I like how you don't even mention what he said in the review. Like this one, you're like, 8.1. He said it was 8.1, but he said if we fix things, it's an 8.9. And this one, you're like, hey, look, he wore it as a hat. Ha, ha, ha. Like, what? <laughs> I don't give a damn. What? Uh, there's Richard. Cool. What is it? Discover why 12K gamers are following this. Well, 12K gamers are following this uh, on tabletop because they're giving away a free horse. Okay? It's just... Ugh. Uh, we almost got crushed by Wild Ascent on hard mode. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't need any more videos. I don't need any more. Just, okay, so these are different languages. Like, so, yeah, okay. Wake me up. Oh, hey! Good, we're back for more minis, because that's what we all wanted. We already scrolled through, like, seven straight minutes of minis. I thought we'd saw all the minis, but no, they're like, you know what? You know what? After we puke 37 videos on you, we really need to we need to spotlight more minis. What the hell? We won't be able to manufacture Wild Descent miniatures in Unicast again, so we're going to add all new molds to all the minis from the first campaign. With that certainty comes an opportunity to outdo so they're they're upgrading the minis. Cool. And oh, they actually have the millimeters. Once again, convert it to inches, because I'm a stupid American. Uh but but cool. They're showing me the minis. Awesome. Go. Just go. Go. I don't I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Hey, shipping. This is what I care about. Whew. So do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Because the bottom line is, I have found that my tastes do uh, correlate with Alex's. A pretty good deal. So for him to say 5 plus out of 5, which I'm just going to assume is a 5 out of 5. You know, spectacular. One of the best games I've ever played. With the expansions. Um... Yeah, that intrigues me. I love Choose Your Own Adventure. So do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. You know, you got a new daddy. You got Awaken Realms here to pat you on the back, make your minis look fancy. 
uh, let you use your new GameFound system, which is a big deal. There's only one thing you can back on GameFound right now that's currently active. So this is a big deal for them. Good for them. Um, I don't know if they handled their Kickstarter or if they let Awakened Realms handle their Kickstarter. But if you handled your Kickstarter, then I would suggest maybe letting Awakened Realms handle it and vice versa. Because this is a cluttered, absolute garbage fest. I, I, I hate it. It's got everything you need. It's just, I would honestly cut about 40% of the crap on here. Maybe even more. Uh, so Wave 1 Shipping. Core Game. 27-37. Shadow of the Silver Stream. 37-47. Levon Rising. 37-47. So, once again, luckily though, I can go back up here and I can look at the pledge. Okay, so Levon Rising. Oh, this is this is so nice. I can go back and forth. Alright, so, uh, I, I also noticed that they don't have the two pledge levels that they kind of bent to the will of the people. So I would update that in the shipping as well. 37 to 47 dollars to ship essentially seven boxes to you that's a really good price like that that's just objectionably a great price for for how much freaking box they're sending you so the shipping looks good core game 27 to 37 dollars that's still two big boxes so it's not it's not great but it's not terrible okay these shipping prices are based on estimates do they cover the vat do they cover the vat Rest of the world, we are work, still working with our shipping partners to determine shipping for the countries not covered above, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 companies they have covered, 10 countries. Uh, Lazy Squire Games. We here at Lazy Squire Games are dedicated to making fun board games with solid mechanics, captivating lore, and gorgeous miniatures. We made Wild Set, which is blah, blah, blah. I don't, I just, I'm so, I'm, I'm so over this. I'm so over this Kickstarter. <laughs> Risky Challenges. Refunds and cancellations. Backer will be able to get a refund up until we're willing to close the pledge matter. So you're dicked. If you, if you don't like the game, get the hell out of here. Try and resell it to some smuck on eBay. All right. <clears throat> Let's check out the the FAQ in the comments. Nothing to show here. My current pledge. Nope. Nope. Definitely not convinced. <clears throat> comments. What do I need to add to get everything when I'm already at Levon Rising Pledge as an EB? Thanks. LSG will probably announce an all-in tier close to the end of the campaign. Wait, there's not an all-in tier? You're telling me that whale, that $369 whale, is not the whale? That's so stupid. Why? Why wouldn't you just have a whale? Why wouldn't you just have the coverall? It says, hey, every stretch go away unlock. Everything from the original. Everything from the new one. Boom! It's all here. All for you. Because that's what people want. That's quite obviously what people want. I imagine the 1,600 people backing that pledge level assume that that is the whale. But from what I'm writing here, is that not the case? The Waterways of the Wild expansion add-on. Oh, the Waterways of the Wild. That's that eighth mysterious blue box that, for whatever reason, is only in the add-ons. Ugh. All right. Just want to thank everyone for being so nice here. It's really refreshing. Each question is answered without any hate or... Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. But you know, the bottom line is, you shouldn't have these questions. So let's see what the most popular are. I do like the fact you can sort it. FAQ, an attempt at collecting some of Lazy Squire's responses and additional info. The early bird and follower... Oh, look at this. Look at this. So, hey! Hey, the people that are running this are incompetent and don't know how to answer all your questions. So luckily, though, Babalock has gotcha. So good on you, Babalock. That's excellent. Um... <laughs> I, I really don't like... This, this this whole shebang. Uh, FAQ. Why aren't you offer Ooh, uh, is Levon Rising standalone? Sadly not. All right, so I'm, I'm really kind of glad that now I know... <sighs> it's mentioned here in the FAQ. I'm getting frustrated. Will be a full painted translation. Yes, all games and gameplay, man uh, gameplay items will be translated. Can I add Storm Sunder to my pledge? What is Storm Sunder? No, that would create a lot of nonsense behind the scenes. Well... <laughs> Forgive us, you've got a lot of nonsense in front of the scenes, so I just assumed there'd be nonsense behind the scenes as well. You can still late pledge for Storm Sunders. What the hell is Storm Sunder? Storm oh, so that's another game. Yippee skippy. Whatever. Uh, okay. Will there be sleeves slash Storm Brush slash something else? What is Storm Brush? With Storm Sunder, we added non-gameplay add-ons in the Pledge Manager, and that trend will likely continue. We do not want to offer sleeves and Storm Brush... So they're not actually offering their games. I, I hate. I hate everything. I hate everything about this. Let's go check out the updates. Let's see if they're good updates at least. Thirty-three hearts. Uh, do we have any comments? It doesn't actually show the comments. You know, can you not comment on updates? That's in what? Is that a game found thing? 
Oh, look, it's more minis. Great. I thought I was done scrolling through minis. No. Nope. They're like, you're, you're not done. You want to check out our updates, you got to look at more God minis. And here's a comic. Cool. So cool. Oh, there are comments. Okay. I prefer the non-colored cards. Uh, I like them both, honestly. <laughs> okay. Please look at the token tray for Chronicles of Dorner. I hate it. Please try to make it much better. I'll get right on that. <laughs> I'm sure he did. I'm sure he got right on that. <laughs> or she got right on that. As a returning backer with a ruined bank account, thanks Kickstarter, I can only run to the Levon Rising Pledge and will have to live with the size difference. I would like to know if we will get a copy of the revised rule booklet with Levon. Oh, does your rule booklet suck? The rule booklet will be available as downloads as PDFs. That's all I can promise in this moment. There's a really good review of possible improvements in redesign is being reconsidered. What the hell is this? Below is the main drive of the observation. Worth reading. So this looks like everyone else is doing all the work for them. And they're just kind of like, is they going to respond? I've read it before. It's incredibly thorough. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going with a D. I'm going with a D on this one. So at the end of the day, do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I'd like to try the base game, which once again is what? A hundred and... What is it? $119. Mm, God. Wild set core game and all daily unlocks and the expansion. So $120 is the barrier to entry getting this. Wait, wait. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm going to give it a D. I'm going to give it a D. I, I hate the organization here. And, and it's also the kind of thing where I don't know if it's game found or if I just don't know if it's how they organize this. But it's just a humongous jumble mess and and just i look through these updates and it just looks like <laughs> like you have the most uh, i don't even know uh, i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna shut up i give this a d i honestly would try before you buy 110 percent try before you buy but then at the end of the day what what i'm saying here is the expansion seems to, that like you want the expansion you want this this story mode so even if you're playing the original yeah just try it before you buy it uh it's just yig yig this is and here's what it, here's really what it boils down to i hate kickstarters where i feel like the whole thing is whoa look at our minis look at our minis hey minis 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 look at the minis check out these minis 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 box of minis minis you want minis 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 we got minis 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 it's just minis minis for days that's all it's like and it's like and it feels like the minis went to the forefront of this campaign. It immediately turned me off. That this quote right here, which you, you did twice, immediately turned me off. And I'm sure this is probably a good game. It's rated, se I mean, it's 11,000th, 7 game. I'm sure this is going to make it a good to a great expansion. But I've played way too many good games. i played way too many good games that have come off Kickstarter. Where it's just like, yeah, it was good. How much you pay for it? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Title Blades comes to my mind. I was like, yeah, that was a good game. Not great, but good. And when you're spending $369, I, I just, I don't know. I'd say watch a gameplay video, make the decision then, but I'm giving this a D. Not a big fan. Wild Descent, Levon Rising by Lazy Squire Games. Lazy Kickstarter page. Lazy GameFound page. Not putting this on GameFound, though. I love this. I love the organization. I hope Kickstarter does it. Kickstarter won't do it because they don't give a damn about anything. They just love that sweet, sweet cash. But still, at the end of the day, a D for Wild Descent, Levon Rising. Five plus out of five. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.